Welcome back everybody. So this week we had a couple technical difficulties. Who knew technology was so hard? But instead I'm gonna invite a friend to help me do my intro and then we're going to go back to our regularly scheduled programming. Hold on, where did she go? Let me go get her. Hello everybody, how are you? My name is Mina. Today, we will be making a caramel cappuccino using, oh, a caramel cappuccino frankfurt. Let me not forget that. You will be using some of the leftovers from the other desserts that you have already made. So, you will be using your pound cake from last time, your bourbon salted caramel, ooh, from your fudge brownie, and then you will be using or making fresh a diplomat cream which is whipped cream with pastry cream mixed together and then some of our famous candy pecans. Woo! I am already so hungry for this. So without further ado, let's get started. Oh my god. First we need the pecans. Check this famous. Alright, where are they? Hold on. Let me go find them. Do, do, do. About half a cup of some pecans here that I've crushed up a little bit, broken to pieces. And I'm gonna toss them in a little bit of egg whites. I don't wanna put too much on here. Just so that we can coat, coat all of the nuts and make sure that the sugar can stick on it. And then I have a mix of brown sugar, a little bit of cinnamon, and then a dash of salt that we're gonna put on here. And we're just gonna Kind of mix that all up together. Get it nice and coated. I love to put pecans and everything and anything. Cookies, brownies, ice cream. My roommate don't like it, but it's okay. We're gonna put it in everything anyway. All right, so now that we've got this kind of coated up with that, we're just gonna go ahead and put this on our pan that we prepared. Don't mind how dirty it is or looks. And get every little piece spread that out a little bit and then we're just going to put this in the oven that we have preheated at 300 degrees for about 15 10 20 30 40 minutes and then uh, we'll take it out from there all right let's put this in so now we moved over to the stove and we're going to start the pastry cream I have my milk already in the bowl and I have my egg yolks in a bowl too. My refrigerator is trying to kill everything, aka it's freezing everything. So I had some frozen yolks I had to finesse, so I already kind of mixed that together. And then I have some sugar, which I'm going to go ahead and kind of whisk in to my yolks. Just so this is already combined. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm going to start the heat on this pot. I'm gonna put it kind of on medium high heat. And then this is going to warm. I have some vanilla paste, which you can just use vanilla extract. In here, maybe, if it comes out. It's kind of jelly-like, so I'm just gonna do that. I, instead of doing all white sugar, I'm gonna put brown sugar in my uh, milk, just because a little extra flavor, and we like brown sugar. So we're gonna put that there, and then I'm gonna get a little spoon, maybe. Kinda of mix that together. And so that this way, as the milk warms up, it'll dissolve the sugar and everything in there, so it'll get nice and silky. Delicious, I don't know. All right, so that's going. And then after it warms up a little bit more, that's when I'm going to add the uh, espresso powder. I mean, instant coffee. You can do other ways of adding or infusing coffee into your um, milk-based desserts. You could steep coffee beans in there. You could use coffee grinds instead, but then you'll have to filter it out. But today, just because it's super easy, and I know most people have this at home, we're just gonna use the instant coffee. Now I have my cornstarch. I'm gonna put this 
in my egg and sugar mix, my yolk and sugar mix. Oops. Be careful at home. Don't do what I did and get it all everywhere. So now that our milk is trying to bubble up and boil over, we are going to temper this into our egg yolk. So we're just gonna pour a little bit of this hot milk mixture into the eggs, mix it up, and then add it back in. And let me not forget this. So we see the pastry cream getting nice and thick, which is what we want. And so we just wanna make sure that we're cooking out all of the cornstarch because you don't want that taste on your tongue. And then we wanna make sure that we don't cook it too long to where we're cooking the eggs and now we're getting scrambled eggs. We don't want that. All right, so we turn the heat off. We are going to add the butter into this mix now. This is important, if you don't add butter, it will not set properly. So don't forget, butter makes it better. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour this into this bowl, but I'm gonna strain it just to make sure that we don't have any um, egg, scrambled egg in our mix because we don't wanna eat that. So I'm just gonna Push all of this through our sifter here. Gonna make sure we don't have any egg yolks or cooked scrambled eggs that come through our pastry cream. We don't want that. And then I'm just gonna set this aside and now I'm gonna put some plastic wrap on it cause it's gonna go in the fridge. But if I don't put the plastic wrap on, it's gonna get a film. And we don't want that. We want filmless pastry cream. So we're just gonna, ooh, it's a little warm. Don't hurt yourself. We're just gonna place this all on there. It's kind of like pudding. I'm sorry, I'll start playing with the food, mm, my bad. All right, there. So now that this is done, we're just gonna put this in the fridge and then move on to the next step. So while our pastry cream is cooling in the fridge, we're gonna go ahead and start the whipped cream. I have my heavy cream here. And then I'm adding Bailey's. Why? Because we can. And why not? Just for just for reference. I know you guys wanted to see that thing. All right. So we're gonna just whip this up real good. Two hours later. No. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and go. So this is done. And we're gonna just hold this in the fridge until uh wait. My bad. I'm gonna just cut. I'm gonna cut and recut, huh? Cut. So this is done. So now the next step is to mix this and the pastry together to make it nice and fluffy. And then we're going to assemble. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we have our cake that I'm gonna go ahead and slice up just a little bit. This is our leftover pound cake that we had uh, made last week. I don't know if y'all remember, but I'll put that link below. <laughs> Sorry, I just couldn't help myself. Anyway, I'm just gonna cut this up in kind of little squares just so that we can put this inside. It's not like we're really gonna need a lot for each, uh, for the uh, trifle. And then what I'm gonna do, because this is a couple days old cake, I'm gonna bring it back to life with a little bit of simple syrup. I have some simple syrup, which is just equal parts water and sugar and a little bit of espresso vodka because we can, because that's my business. Shout out to uh, 
a vegetarian lady, a vegan lady. Tabitha Brown! Thanks, director. That's your business. We just gonna paint this on here, get this simple syrup all up in there. We'll make sure it's nice and revived, brought back to life. We're gonna get up in between them cake pieces. And that's it. That's all I'm gonna use for that. And now we can get all of our stuff and start to assemble. Everything. We have our pastry cream. I mix it up a little bit to bring it back to life. Our whipped cream. It is a little bit soft, but that's okay. We're still gonna mix the two together. And so I'm just gonna take about half of this. I'm gonna take about half of my whipped cream or just cream. All right, I'm gonna leave a little on the side. And then I'm going to kind of mix slash fold this together. I don't have a spatula, a rubber spatula to kind of keep the air. So we're gonna do this as nicely as I can. Look at the flick at Aries. 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 Alright, so this is going to be good enough. And we are going to put this in our piping bag here just because that's going to make it easier when we put it in our glass. We have our wine glass, our cut up cake already, our candy pecans. We have our caramel from before. And that's it for now. So, I'm gonna get this, cut the tip, and then I'm just going to a little bit in there. I'm just gonna hold that right there. So I just put a little bit so that we can kind of start our layer. So that's gonna be our first layer. I'm gonna put a little bit of cake in here. A little bit, a lot of bit, whatever you want. I'm gonna put some nuts in here because that's our crunch. I like lots of crunch, so just a little bit more for me. We have a little bit of caramel that we're gonna drizzle in here. Mm, that looks good. All right. Now, for part two, I'm going to kind of whip that back up. I 
That's a lot. Put a little nestle, nestle of nuts. Is that a new phrase? And one chocolate covered espresso bean on top. And we just gonna call it a day. So you can kind of see the layers. It's not super defined, but that's okay. Cause what you're gonna get is all the tasty stuff on the inside. And that's what we really want. So I'm gonna get a spoon. I'm gonna make my roommate get a spoon and we are gonna finish this and eat some dinner. So thank y'all again for joining us today. I hope that you get a chance to try this recipe. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All the other links are at the bottom. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I guess I'll see y'all next week. Thank you.